hello friends today we are going through the another tutorial on the angular lifecycle hooks so today we'll be creating a basic applications wherein we i'll be going through the angular lifecycle hook as well as how to pass uh, uh, parameters from parent component to the child component so this will be our dummy applications this is based on an angular 9 versions okay so this will be our dummy application which we will be going to create okay so basically whenever you will be creating an angular application you will be getting a structure like this wherein app uh, app component dot html will be your parent component okay and then we'll also cre be creating the child components okay so in the parent component we have given a name angular hook counter application then we are going to pass a count value okay to the child component so now we are using a child we have created a child component child selected child so this child component we are using over here sorry in this parent component okay and then we are passing some value to this child component so such as count we are passing the name we are passing and then user so i'll be also going through the differentiation between the ng do check and ng on change what is the major difference between ng on change and ng do check mostly in the interviews these questions are asked why we are using ng on change why we are not using ng do check so there are some little tricks between these two uh, life cycle hooks and when to use and when not to use this life cycle hook we are going through those things and then we have created a simple increment and decrement buttons and then ng change and ng do, ch do check change so these are small buttons wherein you will be creating a counter application when increment and decrement you can do and then change name this hello will change okay change name it has been changed angular do check it has been okay uh, yeah, then console also we can go through this source code is available on the github uh, which i'll be providing in the description below so this is a parent component logic is written over here name using in this hello world name it is and then these are some functions increment function decrement function change name function change name to check functions okay so wherein we are changing the name hello to world and then do check and change this to the user and our name to the so this is our logic which is written in the parent component so next we are going through the child component so on this child component we will be implementing the life cycle hook okay so these are the parameters which is being passed from the parent to child new component new count sorry so you can check new count over here so this count is coming from here get and set okay so this we are making as a private variable so this counter has a number and then we are putting a get set method for this to get and this private variables okay so this count will be assigned and then next we'll check username which is also being passed from the parent component to the child component see username name username so this username is being passed name okay hello okay then one more parameters and name to check okay so this is also passed from your and then value is user so user from here this user see 
we are having the user is of type object okay so basically life cycle hooks are ng on change ng on init it's a uh, loads only when the component get initialized okay on first only this will be loading okay and then ng do check this is very important ng on change and ng do check ng after content in it ng after content check ng after view in it ng after view check and ng on destroy so these are the angular life cycle hooks which we need to understand okay most widely used is ng on in it so whenever we are initializing this component ng child components that time this will be loaded can see Over here it's being loaded. And check now. Then this uh, ng on change started. Ng on change will be the first. Ng constructor will be the first one. Okay. So on ng on ng changes enter. See you can see over here console log and then do check. Then loaded only when the component get initialized. So ng in. So on the initializing of the component. So whenever you change anything from your this ng on change won't be hitting. Okay. Sorry, ng on in it won't be hitting. Be learning again. Okay. So yeah, that's attention. Now see what is the major difference between ng on change and ng do check. See do check will also detect the changes made for the reference type whereas on g change will not detect any pass by reference detect pass by reference so ng change will detect only the pass by the value okay so basically pass by value pass by reference i hope you understand this pass by reference and pass by value so basically whatever we are passing the values kind of thing like it's a integer number or a string that time ng on change will be hitting okay and ng to check will also hit okay but when we are passing an object or an array that time ng on change won't be hit if there is any change only ng do check will be hit if there is any change in an object on array this is very useful when we are working with the states okay state management that time we store the state in the object so whenever the state is being changed we want to check if there is any change in the state that time if we are using ng on changes this change in the state will not be detected but whereas if we are using ng to check that time the state change will be detected so it's very important to understand what is being checked in this so you can check it over here i'll just clear this ng change is a change in a string or uh, pass by value okay so it has enter on ng change okay earlier simple username uh, current value is world and previous value was hello okay enter do check also so it has entered do check do check okay so if i click on this change name it's a string it's passed by value so that time the both conditions both the life cycle hooks are being hitted okay but if i click on this change name 
so it has directly enter into enter do check okay so this or in the, afterwards it has entered content change but it has not gone through the ng on change why this is the main question asked mostly in the interview i am taking this uh, tutorial in the interview perspective view why it has not been heated in ng on change but if i click on this change name it has gone through this both the life cycle but if i click on this change name for do check it has just gone through the do check not in the ng on change okay so now let us go in this component see this name in which we are passing is a name username okay and change name and do change name do check user okay this you need to understand user and this name name is a string which we are passing in the change name user is an object which is not been detected by ng on change it will be only detected by ng do check please try to understand this okay so if we are making any change to this object that won't be detected by ng on change this function won't be changing if there is any change in an object or an array also but it will be detected in ng do check ng do check will be detecting the string pass by reference as well as pass by value changes but in the ng on changes it won't be detected pass by reference it will be just detecting pass by value changes okay so i hope you understood this difference between when we need to use ng do check and ng on change are given an example also wherein see and change name you can go through this change name and change to check we are using string change over here and we are passing making a change in an object okay so this is a main difference between the ng do check and ng on change okay and then i hope you understand how to pass from parent to child we are using at in at the rate input okay so import and on ng change you can use this simple changes and all parent to check with the previous value and current value right okay so then we are going to ng after content in it okay executed only once after the first ng do check after this ng do check more not mostly used but sometimes it can be used ng after content checked executed after ng content in it to this okay and after every trigger in the ng do check so wherever this will be get trigger it will be checked over here also after view ng after view in it okay executed after the first ng content change so this to change if there is any changes in a view to make a change in the view ng after view checked executed after the ng after view in it this one and every after the trigger in ng after content check and once this life cycle hooks are done we need to destroy also we need to remove this ng on destroy okay component dom elements are being removed whenever we are running this so this component will uh, will be removed this component dom element whatever the dom element is there in on this it will be removed okay mostly used in a, a subscribe and unsubscribe to the it's analysis okay if we are subscribed to any of the or any of the methods then we need to on close of this we need to destroy the component so that we will get unsubscribe otherwise it will keep on subscribing with that and keep on listening to the component so that time ng on destroy is very important
so that's it guys from my side for the tut today's tutorial it's very simple i had mostly focus on ng on change and ng to check because this is most widely asked question in the interview related to the angular life cycle hook okay and even ng on init it's just an initialization and constructor first it will be running and i will also focus on the input parameters like how to pass from the parent to child how to pass the values see the parent uh, we are passing the values from the parent this is app component is the parent we are passing all these values from the parent and we are taking this in a child so wherein we are displaying this in the child component increment decrement these values are been from this new count username and this okay these values are coming from the child component thank you guys thanks a lot